sucralose is an artificial sweetener. The majority of ingested sucralose is not broken down by the body, so it is non-caloric. In the European Union, it is also known under the E number E955. Sucralose is approximately 320 to 1000 times as sweet as sucrose, twice as sweet as saccharin, and three times as sweet as aspartame. It is stable under heat and over a broad range of pH conditions. Therefore, it can be used in baking or in products that require a longer shelf life. The commercial success of sucralose based products stems from its favorable comparison to other low calorie sweeteners in terms of taste, stability, and safety. Common brand names of sucralose based sweeteners are Splendor, Sucrana, Sucra Plus, Candies, Quagran, and Novella. History Sucralose was discovered in 1976 by scientists from Tate and Lyle, working with researchers Leslie Huff and Shashik and Fabnis at Queen Elizabeth College. While researching ways to use sucrose and its synthetic derivatives as an insecticide, Fabnis was told to test a chlorinated sugar compound. Fabnis thought Huff asked him to taste it, so he did. He found the compound to be exceptionally sweet. Tate and Lyle patented the substance in 1976. As of 2008, the only remaining patents concern specific manufacturing processes. Sucralose was first approved for use in Canada in 1991. Subsequent approvals came in Australia in 1993, in New Zealand in 1996, in the United States in 1998, and in the European Union in 2004. By 2008, it had been approved in over 80 countries, including Mexico, Brazil, China, India and Japan. In 2006, the Food and Drug Administration amended the regulations for foods to include sucralose as a non-nutritive sweetener in food. In May 2008, Fusion Nutraceuticals launched a generic product to the market, using Tate and Lyle patents. Production Tate and Lyle currently manufactures sucralose both at a plant in Jurong, Singapore and at a recently reopened plant in McIntosh, Alabama. It is manufactured by the selective chlorination of sucrose, which substitutes three of the hydroxyl groups with chlorine. This chlorination is achieved by selective protection of the primary alcohol groups followed by acetylation and then deprotection of the primary alcohol groups. Following an induced acetyl migration on one of the hydroxyl groups, the partially acetylated sugar is then chlorinated with a chlorinating agent such as phosphorus oxychloride, followed by removal of the acetyl groups to give sucralose. Product uses Sucralose is found in many food and beverage products, used because it is a no-calorie sweetener, does not promote dental cavities, is as safe for consumption by diabetics as non-diabetics, and does not affect insulin levels. Sucralose is used as a replacement for, or in combination with, other artificial or natural sweeteners such as aspartame, acesulfame potassium or high fructose corn syrup. Sucralose is used in products such as candy, breakfast bars and soft drinks. It is also used in canned fruits wherein water and sucralose take the place of much higher calorie corn syrup based additives. Sucralose mixed with maltodextrin or dextrose as bulking agents is sold internationally by McNeil Nutritionals under the Splendor brand name. In the United States and Canada, this blend is increasingly found in restaurants, including McDonald's, Tim Hortons and Starbucks, in yellow packets, in contrast to the blue packets commonly used by aspartame and the pink packets used by those containing saccharin sweeteners. In Canada, though, yellow packets are also associated with the sugar twin brand of Cyclamate sweetener. Cooking Sucralose is a highly heat-stable artificial sweetener, allowing it to be used in many recipes with little or no sugar. It is available in a granulated form that allows for same volume substitution with sugar. This mix of granulated sucralose includes fillers, all of which rapidly dissolve in liquids. While the granulated sucralose provides apparent volume for volume sweetness, the texture in baked products may be noticeably different. Sucralose is not hygroscopic, meaning it does not attract moisture, which can lead to baked goods that are noticeably drier and manifesting a less dense texture than those made with sucrose. Unlike sucrose, which melts when baked at high temperatures, sucralose maintains its granular structure when subjected to dry, high heat. 
Furthermore, in its pure state, sucralose begins to decompose into polychlorinated dibenzo-p-dioxins and other highly toxic substances at temperatures above 119 AA degrees Celsius or 246 AA degree Fahrenheit. Thus, in some baking recipes, such as Krami Bra La Copyright E, which require sugar sprinkled on top to partially or fully melt and crystallize, substituting sucralose will not result in the same surface texture, crispness, or crystalline structure. Packaging and storage Pure sucralose is sold in bulk, but not in quantities suitable for individual use, although some highly concentrated sucralose water blends are available online, using one quarter teaspoon per one cup of sweetness or roughly one part sucralose to two parts water. Pure, dry sucralose undergoes some decomposition at elevated temperatures. In solution or blended with maltodextrin, it is slightly more stable. Most products containing sucralose add fillers and additional sweetener to bring the product to the approximate volume and texture of an equivalent amount of sugar. Effect on caloric content, though sucralose itself contains no calories, products that contain fillers, such as maltodextrin and or dextrose, add about 2 to 4 calories per teaspoon or individual packet, depending on the product, the fillers used, brand, and the intended use of the product. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration allows for any product containing fewer than 5 calories per serving to be labeled as zero calories. Health, safety, and regulation, sucralose has been accepted by several national and international food safety regulatory bodies, including the FDA, Joint Food and Agriculture Organization slash World Health Organization Expert Committee on Food Additives, the European Union Scientific Committee on Food. Health Protection Branch of Health and Welfare Canada, and Food Standards Australia New Zealand. According to the Canadian Diabetes Association, the amount of sucralose that can be consumed over a person's lifetime without any adverse effects is 9 mg per day per kilogram of body weight. In determining the safety of sucralose, the FDA reviewed data from more than 110 studies in humans and animals. Many of the studies were designed to identify possible toxic effects, including carcinogenic, reproductive, and neurological effects. No such effects were found, and FDA's approval is based on the finding that sucralose is safe for human consumption. For example, McNeil Nutritional LLC studies submitted as part of its US FDA food additive petition 7A3987 indicated that in the two-year rodent biosaser, there was no evidence of carcinogenic activity for either sucralose or its hydrolysis products. The Consumer Advocacy Group Center for Science in the Public Interest downgraded sucralose from safe to caution in June 2013, citing a new study linking sucralose consumption with leukemia risk in rats. However, they also write that it, sucralose appears to be the safest artificial sweetener, though no independent tests have been conducted. The original Italian study has been criticized of being poorly executed and reported. Safety studies, results from over 100 animal and clinical studies in the FDA approval process unanimously indicated a lack of risk associated with sucralose intake. However, some adverse effects were seen at doses that significantly exceeded the estimated daily intake, which is 1.1 mg DAY. When the EDI is compared to the intake at which adverse effects are seen a euro known as the highest no adverse effects limit a euro at 1500 mg DAY, there is a large margin of safety. The bulk of sucralose ingested is not absorbed by the gastrointestinal tract and is directly excreted in the feces, while 11 a euro 27% of it is absorbed. The amount absorbed from the GI tract is largely removed from the bloodstream by the kidneys and eliminated in the urine with 20 a euro 30% of the absorbed sucralose being metabolized. Environmental effects, according to one study, sucralose is digestible by a number of microorganisms and is broken down once released into the environment. However, measurements by the Swedish Environmental Research Institute have shown wastewater treatment has little effect on sucralose, which is present in wastewater effluents at levels of several i one quarter gram per liter. There are no known ecotoxicological effects at such levels, 
but the Swedish Environmental Protection Agency warns there may be a continuous increase in levels if the compound is only slowly degraded in nature. Other potential effects a Duke University study funded by the Sugar Association found evidence that doses of Splendor of between 100 and 1,000 mg per kilogram, containing sucralose at 1.1 to 11 mg per kilogram, reduced the amount of fecal microflora in rats by up to 50%, increased the pH level in the intestines, contributed to increases in body weight, and increased levels of P-glycoprotein. These effects have not been reported in humans. An expert panel, including scientists from Rutgers University, New York Medical College, Harvard School of Public Health, Columbia University, and Duke University reported in Regulatory Toxicology and Pharmacology that the Duke study was not scientifically rigorous and is deficient in several critical areas that preclude reliable interpretation of the study results. Another study linked large doses of sucralose equivalent to 11,450 packets per day in a person, to DNA damage in mice. In a small-scale study of 17 obese test subjects, sucralose was found to affect glycemic and insulin responses, leading to an increase in peak plasma glucose concentration and insulin secretion rate. See also, erythritol, neotame, pure via, stevia, sugar substitute, tagatose, truvia, xylitol. References. External links. U.S. FDA Code of Federal Regulations Database. Sucralose section, as amended August 12, 1999. Material safety data sheet for sucralose. Ferra, Emma. Thurman, E.M. Analysis of sucralose and other sweeteners in water and beverage samples by liquid chromatography. Time of flight mass spectrometry. J. Chromatog. A1217. 4127 a euro 4134. DOI 10.1016 slash J Chroma. 2010.02.020A.